Hi, it's Eric with CAD Avenue, and today I wanted to show you how you could take a toolbar and then convert it into a custom tool palette. Why would you want to create a custom palette? The first is workflow, so your workflow is going to be a little bit faster because, as you may know, a tool palette sits off to the right side, can be minimized to increase your workspace. It allows you to uh, take your favorite tools and be able to locate those tools a lot easier. Perhaps you might be able to even take it a step further and create a group of favorite palettes. And lastly, it's super easy to set up. Plus, you can save out those uh, toolbars, export them so that uh, they can be brought in later if you're needing to copy those from one computer to another. So let's get into this. So first we need to load up the tool palettes, type in TP, and then enter. And then right click in the tool palettes. Here we're gonna create a new palette. Let's go ahead and call this MQ Tools. Now that we've created this, we could uh, create our own custom palette group. Uh, so what we're going to do here is right click, click new group, and then here we're going to call it MQ. This is just uh, if you wanted to isolate the MQ tools. So let's take the MQ tools and drag it into the MQ group. Now you could skip this entire step if you wanted to and then just have the uh, MQ tools as a part of the other palette. So and now just right click on MQ and set this group as current. Now we have the MQ tools all isolated. Next, we'll need to enter into the CUI or the custom user interface. And here we can access the toolbars. We need the menus and other commands as well. Type in CUI and then simply go into the MQ tree over here. Then we pick uh, the toolbars and then we'll pick the drawing utility that we want to drag in. So here we'll just choose the MQ piping. And then from here, we can choose the uh, tools that we want to add into our palette. Just drag them in, and you could drag in other tools as well, along with MQ if you wanted to, uh, your favorite uh, commands and so forth. So now that we have this, we can rearrange them any way we want, and we're done. So I hope this video's been helpful. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.